the Dutch and welcome to the Shadow Priest Artifact Acquisition questline. Now, if you may have noticed, the video has changed a bit and that's for one good reason. The original um, live voice recording that I did for this unfortunately got lost. I forgot to put on the mic actually, so it completely got lost. So I've decided to turn it into a post-commentary thing that makes it a little less stressful and I might be able to throw, throw some more commentary in the video. So the Shadow Priest, uh, this particular video is the overview for the acquisition of the Shadow Priest artifact as well as an introduction to the Priest Class Order Hall and the entire order in general. I will give this straight out. I am not maining this priest, so do not expect massive, impressive, you know, constant dots and all that. This is just a nice little video that shows the general overview. And without further ado, here comes the introduction in the way of a hooded figure who is apparently interested in me going to a certain place and meeting with unknown mysterious stranger, apparently in the middle of... Tears full glades of old places. I don't understand why, as an alliance character, this particularly got me a little worried. But, uh, well, you know, uh, best to just take the bait and uh, go for it. I'd say any help will be welcome. So, uh, I guess it's time to meet the mystery man in Tears Fall. So, I got here, so let's see who our mystery man is. Assist you. Walk in the light. Forgive the secrecy. Old habits die hard. I am Alonsus Fowl. At times, I have been a leader of a church, a mindless minion of the scourge, and a commander in a secret war. But I have always been a priest first. The Legion poses a threat that cannot be ignored. So I have decided to step out from the shadows. I believe we must unite priesthoods of all denominations against our common enemy. To lead this effort, we require a priest who is a proven champion to all people. I believe that you are that hero, but others must be convinced. Will you accept this challenge? So I discovered that apparently the guy in charge is Alonso's foul, which we assumed was dead for several here for several decades now, actually. But apparently he's alive ish. I suppose, and he's been running a little secret war behind the scenes. In the meantime, of course, as it is said, now we know who the mystery man is, and we need to go pick up uh, the Shadow Priest artifact, which is a nasty little dagger. And, uh, well, that's pretty much the, that whole gist of it, and it's a nasty little thing. But apparently the whole thing is that it's apparently the location is actually pretty convenient, uh, considering it's in Tears Fall Glades, involving the Twilight's Hammer Cult. Now these guys apparently have been up to no good once again. They're back, although not in full droves, but they are here to make things miserable for all of us. So we're just gonna have to get in and take care of that little problem. And apparently they're taking orders of a guy called the Shadow Deacon, who apparently found a blade that is talking to him. Usually I don't trust any sort of inanimate object that is capable of, you know, giving me suggestions, hints, and, well... General advice, particularly on my love life. I don't need daggers telling me how to do that. But uh, I guess it is uh, as good as it can get. So apparently this thing is located within the same tomb in which you find lights. Where you find tears. Hammer! And another artifact. I'm not going to cover that. But apparently it's located in there and we need to go up and get it. Because the guy is planning to use it to resurrect some old god thingy. I don't know. So apparently it is located in the tomb. But as was mentioned, uh, there's apparently a friend waiting for us here. And he's gonna help out with this little shadow Twilight's hammer cult. So let's see who this are who our little friend is. We have an intruder. Excellent. I was expecting him. But I don't think you were. What? You traitor! Ah! 
my receipt, you'd be cook. I'm Slaghammer, paying my family's debt by hanging out with these buggers. <laughs> Let me take down this barrier. The Shadow Deacon's already below, starting his ritual. To get there, we'll need to do a bit of work. If you have any questions, let me know. But we best hurry. So, our friend is a dwarf called Slaghammer, and the whole reason that he's helping us out, apparently, he's indebted with Moira. So, at least we get some reason why he's helping us, because Shadow Priests are always a bit on the up and up on that whole front. But, apparently, he's got reasons of his own. So, that helps us out. The problem is, though, the place is still covered in Twilights, and they're apparently suppressing some wards that are keeping the old god thing, general, whatever, the faceless general thing, under control. So, we need to get in there and cover the place, uh, well, to clear out the place of all these Twilight Hammer cultists, which are suppressing these wards, so we just need to get rid of that little problem. Luckily, the Shadow Priests are very good at dealing out death. Well, unfortunately, they do let these little things loose as soon as you kill them. So, apparently, there's just four of these wards, so you think I was pretty confident that after this we could just move on and get damn thing. Apparently, though, that this, as it usually goes, these things never go according to plan. And then this ugly thing just showed up out of nowhere. Tried to loot it, got it done, but apparently this nasty piece of shit was apparently waiting for us. They had that whole thing ready to go and ready to kill us. And, well, unfortunately for it, it didn't work out so well. And it basically got its hand handed to us. And it died. But, as is usual, things never go according to plan. And they have more buddies waiting for us. Luckily, considering there's two, we can turn that the tide with some mind control and then, of course, finish off what's left of him. It's just not a lot. Then we take care of the last guy who's just this named dude I don't even care. He's not really that big of a deal. He does some flashy sh stuff, but I wouldn't particularly call this guy that menacing considering just some good old-fashioned mind influence. Has yeah, some will work on it. There is, unfortunately, some more obstacles. Considering we're dealing with the Twilight Hammer Cult, it involves old gods. When it involves old gods, it involves tentacles. Of course. It's basically the biggest Japanese porn movie you've ever seen. In a way, I guess. But, it's usually, it's pretty easy to get rid of these things. You can easily kill them, or if you're just feeling even more lazier, just dispel the crap out of these things. They're basically some kind of magical thing that has just been placed there. So, the Shadow Deacon is up ahead, so let's find out who the hell is this son of a gun. Yes, the blade is right. I am unstoppable. Once Sakaj lives again, I will hold dominion over this world. Our old leaders chose to work with pawns. I choose the real power! So, uh, the guy has gone a little power hungry. Unfortunately, the, these dudes never come alone, and as, like I said, we're dealing with old gods, so we're dealing with these fucks again. Of course. Because there's always has to be these faceless things. To be honest, even though the models are old, and this is World of Warcraft, these things always creep me out. There's just no hands. No hands whatsoever. And they're called faceless. Even though you can't kind of see a face, they're not there. It creeps me out. And these things are just still such an, of an enigma. We don't understand these things. What are they doing here? What do they want? It just isn't clear. And it creeps the hell out of me. But luckily, they can't die, and that was pretty much the easy part of it. Now we just have to deal with the guy in charge, which is Shadow Deacon Farthing. The Farthing name sounds familiar, but I can't place my uh, can't place my finger on it. Either way, it, now it is basically a battle of the shadow minds. We basically need to kill him. He wants to kill us, so it's kind of a you know, it's not personal, but hey. He's got something I want, and I'm gonna do whatever the hell it takes to get my hands on it. Look, unfortunately, these guys never play fair, and tentacles show up, of course. He, of course, that isn't his only bag of tricks, and he uses a Shadow Priest version of the 
a mirror image idea, I guess, which means more mind flays on it. Unfortunately for him, he gets a little rambunctious with the blade. He thinks he can keep it under control. Unfortunately, as it was already described, this thing is known for a will of its own, and it has different plans. Let's see how that works out well for him, shall we? See how I bend your mind to my will. This, this shouldn't be happening. Why aren't you protecting me? Weak and pitiful. The Twilight Father did not dare wield me, for he knew the price of failure. Give me another chance! No! No! You, on the other hand. Yes, I foresee us doing great things together. Take hold of my haft and I will aid you. For now. Yes, we are eager to feast on the fallen titan's minions. But first, Sakash. The cultists may try to stir him again, or he could awaken on his own. We must consume his essence to ensure he is gone forever. You know this must be done. Now, I'm going to be straight out for you. When this thing showed up and they said it talked, I expected some weird distorted voice. But the way that this thing talks, I'd sooner think it wants to bet me or I want to bet it, rather than it wants to consume my mind. But I think it's still the best idea. I think they basically got the voice actors from Rohana from uh, Legacy of the Void and got her in for this little job. They said, hey, you were an almighty uh, knowing call of thing back in Legacy of the Void. Do you want to be a talking dagger now? And she was probably like, hey, sure. Either way, taking the suggestion of, these, of this thing is probably a bad idea. But, hey, it gives me power, so I guess I'm just going to have to work with it. Either how, it's afterwards... It's time to get back to uh, the priests. And apparently there's a little something behind all this because they want something from me. I usually don't like it when people want something from me, but hey, that's usually how this goes. Apparently Alonso Fowl has joined up with the rest of some of the more, you know, known priest characters. So let's exactly see what they want from me, shall we? It uh, could be an interesting little development. Look! Our hero has returned! This champion shows talent! Well done, indeed. You stand before Moira, Queen Regent of the Dark Iron Clan. Watch your tongue. With that, we are in agreement. Now, speak with Velen. He has an interesting matter to discuss with you. Why have you approached me? Take care. My patience is short. Something is amiss on this world. the instrument of change. The mages have established a portal for us to use. If you would follow me, I would speak of the Naru and the Dranai. Over the long years of the Dranai's flight from the Burning Legion, the Naru helped us, sometimes at the cost of their very lives. We would have perished without their aid.
At last, we found a way to repay their kindness. We came upon a terrible sight. A Naru that had turned to the void. There had to be a way to save it. We built a prison to contain and study the fallen creature. A place to commune with the Naru and ponder the nature of the twisting nether. It is here that I would take you. Destruction. The Dranai sought to devise a ritual that could turn the Naru back to the light. To aid their quest, I called together many priesthoods to work in unison. We are close to success. I believe the weapon you obtained will tip the scales in our favor. If you would step into the main circle, we can begin the ritual. Yes, use the blade to draw out the void energy. Yes, it's working. Can you feel it? The hunger, the rage, they are gone. The light has welcomed me home. Once again, you have proven your worth, my friend. With the aid of Sahara and the power of your weapon behind you, there is no one more capable. Priesthoods from all over Azeroth have agreed to donate time and resources to this new conclave. We have a singular purpose. The defeat of the Burning Legion. I hereby bring the conclave to order. Together, we will bring hope and healing to our allies and banish our foes into the void. Now, champion, we shall transform this prison into a temple that will serve as the headquarters of our campaign. This shouldn't take long. So, at this point, I got my little old class order hall, but I just want to point out a few things that I think is weird. That this place is the place we're going to be hanging out, that's fine with me. The place looks gorgeous. The, the loading screen is amazing for it. There's just one thing that I get this is one of the first things that surprised me most of all if you know that last name that is apparently apparently Arthas had a sister I didn't know this I honestly didn't know that I didn't know he had a sister but apparently he did and this is her but besides that let's just get back to that point with the whole void god to Naru thing I know how this works when a Naru gets sick or dies its light fades and they eventually turn into void lords you know the void god things the things we fight we this thing on the other hand together. but as far as i understand the light gets you know disappears and they are consumed by the void turning them into shadow creatures i don't think it works when you get first when you when the light goes away the darkness comes in you get rid of the darkness and the light comes back as far as I know, this seems like the most vicious cycle in existence. I mean, it goes from light, hopeful, and happy thoughts to void, hunger, and consuming. It's and despair and all that kind of crap. Either way, uh, to be honest, the Netherlight Temple has to be one of the more surprising ones of the because it's basically even though you can't see it, it's 
it's completely in the in the middle of the uh, twisting nether now don't get me wrong this place is actually kind of amazing because it has two different chambers that show off both the light and the dark side of the priest and I really like that and you know it has all the models with the dagger and of course everything else it has all the basic premise but I like this temple it's a nice little play and it's a nice place for the priests to hang out. It's not what, you, what I expected originally, but I do like it. So, how what do I think of all this? Well, I gotta say, getting this dagger was weird as heck. Just the point when I got it. Everything else was about as expected of anything involving Twilight cultists and old god things. But that dagger's voice? That still gets me. That is just... <laughs> That's just weird. I guess it kind of makes it more tempting for people to get it. I mean, like I said, the uh, Blizzard probably wanted a voice that not, that's not going to be grinding on everybody's teeth after, you know, two minutes of listening to it. So I guess it was a logical choice. I just expected a much more, you know, twisted voice. Like what you expected of the old gods, you know, kind of ominous and all this. I still like this. I still like the voice. It's just not what I expected. But... To put this in perspective, this has been the playthrough of the, or better said, a overview of the Shadow Priest Artifact questline, as well as the introduction into the Priest Order. I think it's been a great, fantastic thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little video. This has been a nice little continuation of the entire thing. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please well, hit that like button because that will make you cool and it will make me happy. If you want to be awesome, you can find more of my videos on my channel, which you can uh, find by clicking on the link at the below the video, which will send you to my channel. And I hope you guys will continue to support me uh, because that would be fantastic and you would make me a very happy man. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, adios and bye-bye. Uh,